Hey, if you're looking to start a photography or videography business and you need a set of financial projections, maybe for a potential investor or lender, or you just need to do some internal cash flow forecasting, uh, then you've come to the right place because we've built a uh, financial projection template built specifically for photography or videography businesses. I'm going to walk you through how to fill this out today and create a five-year forecast. Um, a little bit of background on me, I'm Adam Hooksema, I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub. And over the last decade, we've helped 50,000 entrepreneurs create financial projections for potential investors, lenders, and internal planning and all sorts of different businesses and industries. Uh, today, we're specifically focused on this photography and videography template. Uh, I have put a link to the template in the description of the video below. And as a thank you, if you stick around to the end of the video, uh, we'll also give you access to a coupon code where you can get a discount on the template as well. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and dive into how this works. Okay, so I'm starting on our at a glance tab. Now this is kind of the end of the process. After you've entered in all your assumptions, uh, you will be able to see a profit and loss at a glance, um, some key summary data, interesting you know, key performance indicators for your particular business, your use of startup funds, um, monthly sales forecasts and cash generated from the business, some different key ratios and charts. Um, you'll notice that uh, if your business is very seasonal, you'll get to see the seasonality of, of the business with our graphs and charts as well. Um, you'll get a five-year income statement summary, a five-year cash flow summary, a five-year balance sheet summary, and then you'll get your income statement, cash flow statement, and balance sheet broken down by month for each of the five years. So you have that monthly detail as well, which can be helpful if you are applying for uh, an SBA loan, for example. All right, so on the uh, input assumptions tab, this is where we're going to have to do some work to be able to produce all these reports. Uh, we are going to uh, start by just entering in some general assumptions. So any of the cells that are highlighted in light blue are assumption cells that you can change without breaking anything in the model. So we've got our business here, uh, start month for the projection, a starting cash balance. So if you're already operational and have a have an existing cash balance, you can enter that here. Personal investment. So if you're making a personal investment into the business or maybe an outside investor is putting some money in, you can enter that here. Fixed assets. So um, let's say we're, we don't own the building, but maybe we uh, leased a studio and we did a bunch of build out to the studio. And uh, so we were responsible for $60,000 of leasehold improvement. So we can enter that here. We have photography equipment and, uh, you know, could be vid videography equipment, you know, that sort of thing. Um, that you can enter here. Now you have the ability to uh, pick what month these purchases were made. So we're saying this first batch of $15,000 of equipment was made in month one, but maybe we bought a second uh, set um, in month 13. So we can add that there. And let's say we are applying for an SBA loan to help us out with some of the startup costs. And so we've got a $50,000 SBA loan uh, amortized over 120 months or 10 years. All right, so now onto our input revenue tab. Now, in this particular uh, model, we are going to be focused on um, photography businesses and videography businesses that don't do weddings, all right? So we actually have a separate variation of this template with, uh, with a focus on weddings, um, and that just kind of adds a whole bunch of complexity. Um, and so that's really a separate template. Um, we have kind of simplified this one down to exclude the wedding piece. If you need uh, a, a wedding um, template, if you buy this template, we're going to give you access to both. Um, so, you know, you'll have access to both. I, what I'm walking through right now is um, the template excluding weddings. Okay. All right. So what we're thinking about, you know, maybe your, your services are, you do senior portraits, family portraits, engagement photos, and corporate, corporate work. Okay. And what you can do then is each month you can put um, the number of services you expect to provide uh, each month. So let's say senior portraits, maybe that is very seasonal. And so maybe that's a big piece of your business and you're, you're going to do 10 uh, senior portraits in the month of May, June, and July. Uh, and then you can do family portraits, engagement photos, and corporate sessions. You can see how you can enter in those, those units that you expect um, <clears throat> to sell each month. And this is kind of the, the services that you're providing, but then the, from there, we need to know what are, what are the individual packages that people are buying? How does that kind of break out? And so you can enter in your different packages here. So a basic senior portrait, deluxe senior portrait, newborn portraits, and, and pick what uh, service type those are, whether they're you know, family, engagement, corporate, right? And then um, you can pick a launch month. So you could say, we're going to start out with just doing senior portraits and then family, engagement, and corporate headshots. And then maybe in month 13 here is when we maybe we bring on a, an additional photographer, and that's why we brought on that additional equipment in month 13 that you saw. Um, and we're going to start offering additional services here as well. So that just these are just kind of examples of how you could fill this out. Um, 
Okay, from there, this, this uh, column right here is pretty important. So um, it's the percentage of services in each category. So you've got these different service categories, right? So we've got senior portraits, and there's the basic and the deluxe. So we need to break down uh, what percentage of, of the senior portrait categories are basic versus deluxe. So we're saying 50% of the people that buy a senior portrait, 50% are buying the basic, and 50% are buying deluxe. Now within the family portrait category, service category, we're saying 10% are newborn, 90% are family photos. But we only have one uh, type of service in the engagement service type, and so that's all 100% are buying the engagement photo service type. And then you can see what that looks like for corporate split 50-50 between corporate headshots and events. Then for each category or for each uh, service line item, you'll put in a revenue, and then your cost, your cost of the service. Um, so this is cost other than employee labor. Um, and, and it could include contract labor or materials, um, or if you're like renting equipment or something for, for the um, service, that could be put in this um, field as well. All right, from there, um, the model will do the rest of the work. It's gonna calculate your photography services revenue um, and the service costs, the, the, your costs um, associated with providing those services. Now, one more bit of complexity here is that uh, your cash flows might uh, be kind of unique, and you may um, you, you may take deposits, right, to kind of hold certain dates or slots um, because you only have a certain amount of capacity. So this is you know very prevalent with weddings, uh, but it could be prevalent with other other services as well. So we wanted to weave this um, feature in there where you can accept deposits. Now, um, this field right here, just as a starting point when you're starting the projections, if you are already holding customer deposits for, uh, for work that you're planning to do in the future, you can put in what you're currently holding in as deposits um, right here. Okay, so then going forward for any new work, we're saying, hey, we're gonna require a 50% deposit. And then how, this is how many months in advance are you typically accepting the deposit? Um, you know, maybe you book out for senior portraits uh, way in advance and so, you want you know six months uh, between deposit and when you provide the service. Um, again, that would be very common in weddings. You may take a deposit, you know, twelve months in advance, perhaps. Um, probably less common or less time uh, between the deposit and the service for these other services. But um, we want to give you that ability, so you can set the percentage and the time between the deposit and the service. All right. Now, we also have the ability to add product sales in here as well. So. Um, you know, things like a photo book, a frame portrait, or prints, right? And so you'll be able to add in some assumptions about the average number of orders of, of products for each different service type, um, service category that you have, and then a breakdown of um, what those products they're, they're purchasing. So, for example, for prints, we're saying um, average revenue per print is $10. Your cost of goods sold is 9 You're just making a small margin on that, uh, perhaps. And the average order quantity uh, is 25, 25 prints per, per customer that ends up ordering prints, okay? All right, and so that is really all of our projected revenue um, in this template. Now we can jump over to our input other expenses tab and you can see other uh, general operating expenses like accounting, marketing, uh, transaction fees. So this is one thing to point out is that you can select a, uh, your expenses to be a percentage of revenue. So we've got a percentage of total revenue as a transaction fee and we entered in 0 0.02, so that would be 2%. 2% uh, of your total revenue goes towards transaction fees. Maybe that's because you're using uh, you know, a credit card processor or something to, to accept payment and they take a fee. Um, let's uh, expand these columns real quick. Okay, so you may also have uh, rent, insurance, utilities, internet and phone, and so on. Now the last input tab is our salaries tab where you can enter in uh, photographers and their salaried, uh, salaries, what month they start, the number of photographers that started in that month, um, benefits, annual raise, if you wanna offer an annual raise in, into the model. And then you can also have you know, other, other employees, so you could have an assistant. We just wanted to kind of separate uh, the salaries between photographers and, and other employees um, so that we can uh, show some, some useful um, data like revenue per photographer, for example. All right, and so that is really it. Now you would come back to uh, where we started on the At a Glance tab. Um, 
and be able to see what your projections look like over the next five years. Uh, so if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. Uh, also, again, as a thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, we have put a link uh, in the description of the video below, both to this template, a link to the template, and then also a link to a form. You can fill that form out and you'll be emailed a coupon code. And then you'll use that coupon code at checkout uh, to get a discount on this particular template um, as our thank you for sticking around. So uh, again, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out support at projectionhub.com. We'd be happy to help. Thanks.